In this getting started video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Video Express user interface. Let's start out in this top bar up here. We have new. This is going to start a new project. It'll warn us if we haven't saved our current project. Just cancel out of here. Otherwise, it'll give us a clean slate. Next up, we have open. This will let us open up a previous project that we've already saved. We can do a search if we have lots of projects to find it. There's an option to delete the project. And there's an option to import in a project. I'll get to that shortly. Otherwise, we just click it, open it, place our current project. We have save. This so will save our project. If it's the first time we hit save, it'll ask us for a file name. To the right here, we have a little drop down menu to save project as. This will save our current project under a new name, keeping it separate from the original so we don't overwrite it. So we have two different versions. There's also an export option. This is going to save a zip file onto our computer with all of our project settings, everything it needs to recreate it, all the media files, your timeline, everything stored in this file so that you can either give it to someone else to use or you can keep important projects as a backup since older projects do get removed after time. So you'd export it and that's where you would come in here and do an import to choose the file and upload it back to the site. We have export video. Here we type in the file name. This is going to create our video that we'll be able to download our completed project. Now there's different quality settings, resolutions, file formats, but we'll want to basically leave this at all the defaults. We type in the file name, hit create, and it starts rendering. Now we don't have to sit here on the screen, depending on how big the video is, it may take some time. But we can close this and keep on working, start a new project. But we can only render one video at a time. Once it's done, it'll appear under My Videos. So here's our completed videos, which we can download to our computer. We can see a little quick preview right here. Or we can delete them. We have the public gallery. These are AI images and videos created by other Video Express users. We have our tutorials, our support page, our account details, where we can log out, edit our profile, where we can update our name, our phone number, or change our password. Here we can change the aspect ratio of our video. This is a standard 16 by 9 widescreen video which you see on most TVs. We can also swap it to a 9 by 16. Get a warning. This is more like what we'd have on our phones. We'll need some tweaks to make these properly fit. We can switch back and forth in between the sizes. Now briefly touch on the remaining elements here, but each one is going to have dedicated videos to go into more detail. Here we have our preview window where we can see our video as we're working on it with frame advance. On the sidebar here, we have our media library. This is where the files that we upload to go into our timeline or that we generate by AI go into. Here's our AI generation options under the AI videos menu. Import media, we can capture from our webcam, microphone, our screen, or do text-to-speech to create clips to use in our projects. We can insert in text animations like lower thirds, intros, outros, text animations. We can apply different filters. We can add camera pans, resize clips, green screen removal, add titles, zoom into clips, add audio fades, apply these to different clips. And along the bottom, we have our timeline. This is where we have all different tracks where we're going to add our media, our audio tracks, our images and our videos, our text effects, move them around, add them, resize them. Again, there'll be separate videos going into all these in more detail, but this has been your overview of the Video Express user interface.